Good morning, everybody. I am out for my walk. It's about half five in the morning. I'm vlogging today, so I thought I'd start it off here on the beach uh, as I'm getting my steps in. It's actually a lot warmer than I thought it was, but I will be back to you in a bit. I'm gonna come straight on my walk and I'll probably come back to you when I'm putting my makeup on and getting ready for the day so that I'm not bouncing you around and making you feel really sick, I'm sure. So I'll chat to you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. Proper good morning. Myself and the little man, uh, there he is. <laughs> we are heading into town today with um, my friend, or our friend, Jeanette, Fasting Bat on Instagram. If you don't follow her, I'll leave her details linked down below. And we're basically going shopping. So what I thought I would do is show you a day out and what I eat on a day out. Sorry, that's my partner. Um, and the cats are attacking him, I think. Um, are you okay? So we are, we're going into town now, it's about 8.30 in the morning and I have had a litre or 800 mils of water so far and I'm just drinking my first coffee of the day. I always drink instant coffee at the moment just because it's quick with the little man um, with Hermesitas and some cashew milk in it and I'll show you as I go during the day what I eat. Um, I thought I'd show you my outfit as well. My lipstick is by, I always get asked what my lipsticks are. So it is this one by um, NYX. It's the Lingerie Lip in Lip 20. That's pretty much all it says. Um, I also really like this one if you guys are in the States. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Sephora Lip Cream in number 40. It's so good. I love this one. Uh, but I'm going to go get himself and myself finished and ready. Oh, I was going to show you what I was wearing. So I'll just show you in the camera here. Hi, buddy. So I am in this bodysuit from, uh, I think everything I'm wearing is Nasty Gal today. Literally everything. Sorry, excuse the state of the place. Um, so it's the bodysuit by Nasty Gal. That is a stain on the mirror, not on me. So as I was saying, um, my bodysuit is Nasty Gal. My belt, I think, is Nasty Gal, but I recently got a very similar one from Stradivarius. Uh, my skirt is like a midi length, and this is from Nasty Gal as well. It has little stars on it, little stars and polka dots. Uh, my sunglasses are Key Australia. Um, I'm obsessed with Key Australia. They are like my favorite sunglasses brand of all time. Uh, my jewelry is Doyle Design Dublin. They are my um, sterling silver hoops. Uh, this ring and this ring, Leo, which I wear turned inside. And this one is from Mad Mary Metal. Um, and then my wrist, my Fitbit wrist strap is from Amazon. I'll link everything that I can down below and I'm about to put on some of them, like my fake Prada monolith boots and I curled my hair today using the uh, Beauty Works wand, this one, the big thick looking wand and my foundation is Charlotte Tilbury, um, the, what's it called, this one, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what is this actually called? help if I turn to trend. Beautiful skin in shade two. And I shall have use some old, um, uh, what's called Urban Decay Naked. And my eyeliner is, as always, NYX um, Epic Liner. I either use that or the KBD Beauty one. Um, this one is cheaper and I love it. So, better go get us all ready now and I will see you when we get into town. I don't know where to look when I'm doing this filming, but yeah, sorry for the filth of this mirror. I did buy glass cleaning yesterday. Hi everyone, so we are in town now. I am just having my second coffee of the day. This is a tall uh, filter coffee from Starbucks with sugar-free vanilla and almond milk. Uh, this is the smallest coffee I've ever gotten from Starbucks, but basically I need to feed my little man. And I'm here with my friend, Fasting Bat, Jeanette, who is feeding said little man. Uh, if you don't follow her on social media, go give her a follow. As I said, details are always linked in the description down below. 
we're gonna have this and then we're about to commence with some serious shopping because Jeanette has never been shopping in town both of us obviously as you know I've lost a considerable amount of weight Jeanette has also like killed it with weight loss and we until a couple of weeks ago I'd never gone shopping in town because of the pandemic and everything and Jeanette has never been shopping in town in standardized clothes so we are about to rectify that immediately so we will catch you in a bit Finally, about to break into our lunch that we've got. Here she is herself. We are having Sprout and Co. Uh, umami shrooms without the shrooms uh, because I don't like them in a salad. Um, and basically, it is we have kale, some red cabbage, sauerkraut, I have chilies, uh, tofu, and all other kind of delicious things in there. And I'm so excited to eat this. We're currently just having a good shop in uh, HM seeing if we can find anything. I'm also in the men's section. But uh, Jeanette is trying something on. It's not a success, so we shall keep looking. I'm not specifically looking for anything, but uh, just having a good look. I also need to buy a couple of birthday presents, so. <sighs> shopping when we're together so we've just come into the asia market and topped up on some of my favorite things from here so i'll show you what we got in a second or when i get home but i also um we're gonna go now and get some coffee and get a drink and i'm going to my favorite place a uh, cafe to get coffee because i need one i haven't had one in a few hours <laughs> <laughs> who said that to you We had a pretty successful day shopping, would you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, what's, what's this in your hands? Is that uh, bags of clothes from uh, an alternative uh, shop that yes. are not plus size? <laughs> yes, they are. Yes. Hi everyone. As you can tell, I am now at home. Um, I have my, I'm about to take my makeup off. I have done, what have I done today? And um, what have I done since I got home? Basically got home, took care of my son, got him sorted. Um, I didn't vlog too much in town because it's really hard to do it, take care, taking care of a three month old plus shopping and managing everything that was going on. The only thing that I didn't show you that I did get in town was another coffee and um, I got a like, I got a second coffee in um, Bodega, just an Americano with oat milk. Uh, I wanted almond milk but I said oat milk. I don't know why. That's my son talking in the background speaking to his uh, grandmother in France. I'm now about to take my makeup off and then I have yet to decide what. Oh, I did eat one other thing that I did not say. Um, I ate a bounce ball. It was a, a maple cashew bounce ball uh, for 165 calories. They are delicious. Highly recommend bounce. They're so good. Not all of them are vegan so um, just careful if you are vegan and um, just to double check which ones are. Some of them have milk in them I think or eggs, uh, either milk or eggs. But anyway, um, so I had one of those on the drive on the way home uh, because I started getting hungry and then I, um, I've i just been drinking some water since I got home and just sorting out the house and life and all that kind of malarkey and now I am going to go take my makeup off and go and cook dinner. Um, I'm probably going to continue this vlog a little bit tomorrow as well so I can share with you guys what I bought today because things got kind of crazy. Um, I wasn't buying anything and then we went into two shops and I just, two alternative shops and we, we got some stuff finally. We, we got some, we got some good stuff. I'm sorry, I keep like feeling my body. I think that's kind of like always a sign, like a good sign. I'm just trying to get to know myself um, and like feel myself and feel how I'm how I'm doing. So anyway, makeup off, food in the mouth, baby to bed. So talk to you in a bit.
Okay, so I have just remembered I have a stomach and I'm absolutely starving. So I need something really, really quick and uh, that doesn't require much of anything because I'm also exhausted and I have to feed my child very shortly. So we are having two of the vegetable burgers, well, one each, the vegetable burgers from Aldi. These are 234 calories. And then we're gonna have two hash browns, cauliflower hash browns each, and some courgettes. So basically a whole heap of vegetables in different guises for dinner. Cooking up the courgettes uh, or zucchini or whatever one calls them in whatever country you're in. And just some spray oil on the pan and then some Lowry's or Lowry's. I was called Lowry's. I don't know. I'm going low. Something. Seasoning salt. And I just keep flipping them over. They actually take a, a, quite a while to cook. Uh, but these are delicious. Courgettes are my favorite thing to eat. I also love if you can get a basil salt. That's like their best with courgettes but uh, uh, the Lowry's is pretty decent as well and our stuff is nearly cooking in the air fryer everything is getting ready there my little man is over here having a good old chat with everybody oh this is dinner very uneventful but courgettes with um, some sea, um, seasoning salt one of those Aldi burgers and I just had one um, cauliflower hash brown in the end with some um, hot sauce and I'm gonna eat this now and I'm gonna get the little man to bed. Okay everyone, what I, it's the next day now and I thought what I would do now is try on the clothes that I purchased yesterday and show you what I got. I'm really excited about some of these items. This is the first time ever that I have been able to shop in an alternative store, try things on and purchase them. I. I can't even tell you how excited I was yesterday. I was with, as you know, with my friend Jeanette and it was the first time for both of us and it just felt so, so wonderful that we were able to pick out things that we really wanted that suited our style and buy them. It was crazy. It was so weird. So I'm going to show you them now. Then the next dress that I got is this Hell Bunny dress and I bought this in store in Retro in Dublin. So if you saw me... Um, the little bit of vlog clip that I did when we were shopping in retro these the next couple of items are the bits that I got I am in love with this dress. It's by Hell Bunny. It's actually in a size extra small or a size 8 So Disturbia was a size 10 which I probably could have got for the 8. This is an 8 I got the 8 because they had a 10 but I wanted this like to be Perfect for when I'm at goal weight. So it's a little bit tight here but I love how it is on my hip. This is like on my hip to waist ratio and it has pockets. Is that not what you do when you have a dress? You just look with pockets in it, you shout it has pockets. But I love this detail here uh, on the neck, these sacred hearts and this beautiful red velvet ribbon. I just, it's like a Wednesday Adams meets Alice in Wonderland kind of dress. And it's got buttons down the front and then it, zips up. Normally I hate collared dresses, but I think I'm actually starting to like them for some reason. I don't know why I hate collared dresses. It's very strange. But anyway, I'm loving this little... Love it. The next dress that I purchased from Retro in Dublin is this another uh, Hello Bunny or... The next dress that I purchased is this beautiful dress. It's called the Hello Goodbye. It's by Hell Bunny. It's in a size extra small. I got this in store in Retro in Dublin. Oh, I love it. It has all these like Ouija symbols on it. So it's got some like stars, moons, um, Hello Goodbye, obviously, uh, some hands, a couple of snakes and things like that. So I am obsessed with this. I got this, as I said, in the extra small, similar to the other Hell Bunny dress, which Sorry, you can't see me, which is um, for goals. So it's pretty tight now. Like I can breathe in it and I can move, but it's not as comfortable as the small was when I tried it on in store. But I'm really happy to have this for, you know, in a couple of weeks time. It'll fit me perfectly with no adjustments needed. I love, as you know, I love a tea dress. Uh, and this is the perfect example of the kind of tea dress that I really like because it's alternative. It's got the um, buttons down the front and it's got these beautiful little kind of cap sleeves. I'm normally a hater of cap sleeves because of my excess skin, but you know, who cares? I have excess skin, I have psoriasis. I just don't think that cap sleeves really like do me many favors, but I think that 
with the waistline on this, I think it's perfect. I have the girls hiked up to where they need to be in, a, in this dress, but oh, I love it. I absolutely love this dress. I love everything that I bought. And I have two more things to show you. The next dress that I got is this absolutely beautiful hourglass shaped bodycon velvet dress with moons on it. It's the Vanessa dress by Collective London in uh, with the crescent moons and I absolutely love it. It is such a classic shape with the sweetheart neckline, the kind of squared off shoulders on it. I love that I can wear a regular bra because sometimes with a neckline like this, you need to wear a strapless bra. And right now, post baby, definitely needing a full bra. This uh, is a size 14 or a large. So I've gone from an extra small in Hell Bunny to a large in Collective. And this is stretchy. So one would think that this was more forgiving, uh, but this was the smallest size that they had. It fits me perfectly now, but I do imagine that I will be able to take this in uh, when I reach my goal weight as well, which is like only in 17 pounds, but there can be a massive difference. So this was on sale and I just couldn't, I, I couldn't pass it up because as you probably know, I absolutely love moons and that kind of symbology. So I'm really delighted with this. I would wear this on a night out to go somewhere quite fancy. I might put a belt around the middle as well, just to hook me in a little bit more. Um, and I might get it taken in here or down a little bit because it's just a little bit high. Uh, I'll pull the girls up a little bit more. But I love it. It's just such a, it's such a classic shape. Absolutely beautiful. I think this was 35 euro. And this was from Retro as well. So it's the Collective, uh, Collective London. And the final two items that I bought in the alternative genre is, the first of all is this gorgeous cardigan by Band Apparel. I have been looking for a short cardigan that doesn't have gold buttons on it for a while. And I saw one in New Look in store and it was just plain and I was like, oh, maybe I'll get it. It's 25 euro, like it'll do. But I was like, I'm not so sure. It just seemed a bit much. And then I saw this one in retro. I was like, this is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. The shape is gorgeous. I love how short it is. And it's just like cinches me in at the waist. It's going to be perfect to wear with mini skirts and all of my midi skirts. I'm obsessed with it. And I love, sorry, you can't see my head. <laughs> I love the back detail and then the bats on the back hanging down. Absolutely amazing. And then this skirt. This skirt is purchased from Rebel Rebel in Dublin as well. It's on Crow Street in Dublin. And this skirt is uh, by Killstar. It's a size medium. I probably could have gone for the small in it. It fits perfectly now, um, like absolutely perfectly. It's like the second skin now. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Uh, it should fit as well, really well at goal, or I can have it taken in uh, as well. And I'm just so obsessed with it. I highly recommend going into Rebel Rebel if you're in Dublin. Uh, it's on Pro Street, right beside Foggy Jew. It is absolutely gorgeous. The Lady Marie who runs it has such a sense of style and they're really helpful to help you pick out different things and find sizes. And they also ship worldwide as well. So I'll leave their details linked down below. And they do a uh, loyalty program as well, which is fantastic in store. So I am obsessed with this. I love both of these together. This is the perfect day for, for me. I wanted to show you two more bits as well that I got that are not of the kind of alternative uh, genre. They are more standard and from standard size, standard places, but I just thought I'd share them with you. I like to think of my style as hyper feminine with an edge. That's kind of my new style that I'm going for. It seems to be what I really like. I love something that's like feminine, but with an edge, as I said. Um, I always look for different items. As you know, tea dresses are my favorite. Tea dresses and milkmaid dresses are my favorite to wear. I would always wear them with my boots, like these ones. Um, and I love this kind of like tea dresses, milkmaid dresses, mini skirts, like floral mini skirts. I love, and I just saw this shirt today in Villa. It was on sale. And I thought it would be amazing for sticking into a skirt like this. So I would tuck it in, especially in the winter. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is perfect. I love this look. I would also wear this with just a plain black uh, mini skirt or uh, midi skirt. Or I specifically thought that this would look really good with whole color. When this bad boy fits again, my pleather skirt with this. <gasps> Oh, I'm so here for that. And a pair of high heels or a pair of boots, both would work. That is just what a look. So I'm just gonna come closer and I can show you exactly like the details in this. So it is like this kind of Victoriana collar. I wouldn't wear a top underneath it. So it would kind of show a bit more, like have a, you could see the lace a bit more. I love the collar detail. I love the kind of slightly ballooned, I'm so glad I got this. And there's this beautiful detail on the sleeves as well, on the cuffs, it's a lace detail. That is just, oh, that is stunning. And then just for to wear casually, to kind of elevate an outfit, I'm thinking this with leather pants and then this bad boy over it, which is just this plain blazer just a plain oversized blazer. Like obviously not with this look cause the skirt's too long, but like with a mini skirt with this, oh, let me try that on. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like pair of shorts, oh, <gasps> this outfit. I could even do this with like knee high boots or my, um, my big heavy mon rip offs, this blazer. And I wouldn't even necessarily wear this kind of shirt. I might, like you could wear this open for a bit more skin kind of like the covered look though. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. The only bit that you missed that I ate yesterday that I didn't show you was an Alpro chocolate dessert after, uh, at the end, after I put my baby to bed. So it's been, it was a long day yesterday. I was exhausted. My legs were killing me. I think I did 20,000 steps, but uh, it's all good. We, we got those steps in. I really hope you liked this video. Please let me know if you did down below. Let me know what was your favorite item of clothing that I got as well. And if there's something that really tickled your fancy and what I was eating. But uh, leave me down below a, is there a bag emoji? Is there a shopping bag emoji? I'm not sure if there is. If there isn't, then leave me a, just leave me an emoji of your choice. I will be back to you very shortly with another update video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Turn on the notifications so you never miss a video from me. Come follow me over on Instagram, on TikTok, where I share so much there. And please like, share, tell your friends, because every time that you guys do and you engage with me, it helps to build this community. It helps me out, and I really want to continue to keep doing this. So, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you very shortly. Bye. I look phenomenal. I'm so happy right now. We look.